I've done it. It's an automatic hat tipper for the lazy Lothario. Through Goldberg's work, it was not only well drawn, it was zany. He just had a limitless supply of ideas in the, the teens and the 20s. Every cartoonist of that era looked up to Rube Goldberg. This is our book, The Art of Rube Goldberg. There had not been any written material on Rube for a very long time. And the time was right. The internet, and YouTube in particular, has given a whole new life to Rube Goldberg. OK Go kind of set the bar. That was the beginning. 47 million views later, people love Rube Goldberg machines. Rube's inventions were clever because they were extremely complicated and elaborate to do something of a very minor value. His name is in the dictionary. I believe his is the only full name that has ever been put in the dictionary. In his time, he was at the top of the game. He was the cat's meow. There was Mike and Ike, they look alike. There was Lollapalooza. There was Foolish Questions. Boo McNutt's Ark. Some of the creatures are amazing. The North American Kitchen Vipers. They're made of irons. The hammer-tailed whack tacks. He did a number of knockout political cartoons. You take one look at it, and it's all there. And Rube could do that. Rube had a point of view about everything that's going on. He didn't suffer fools lightly. He made fun of everything. <laughs>